some of the best country bass lines were produced by these basses. Hello, I'm Donald with the bass instructor of the How to Play Bass online course at IWantToPlayBass.com. Jump over there, subscribe, get your free ebook on setting your bass up. And when you're serious about your bass playing, sign up and get well on your way to reaching your bass playing goals. And this is I Want to Play Bass, your YouTube channel for everything bass, bass guitar tips, gear reviews, and all that fun stuff. So subscribe, hit that bell notification, get on a loop, and don't miss. So you want to know what the best country bass lines are? Well, that's a pretty broad topic, pretty broad question. So I'm going to narrow it down here by giving you some of the 10 best country bassist. But first, leave me a comment down below. Let me know who you think the best country bassist is and why. And remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. All right, well, here's your 10 country bassists. So here we go. If you're looking for that best country bass line, chances are one of these 10 bassists have played that country bass line that you're looking for and you want to aspire to be like. And I've got a video coming out on these top 10 bass lines that, in my opinion, are the top 10 bass lines. That's coming up, so once you subscribe, you'll get notified of that. This isn't from least to best or best to least. It's just a top 10, but I am saving the top, the number one, in my opinion, basis out there that's the hardest working basis and the most work basis. So that's gonna be coming up at the end. So let's just dig into it right now. So number one, I've got the Mike Bregner Dello. And if you haven't seen the video, I've got up here, I'll leave a card here. Check that out. He's um, It's a song he did with Travis Tritt. He recorded the bass line for so I broke the bass line down and all for you there. So check that out. And he solved the biggest question in bass playing or in as being a musician or anything you want to do in life. If you're tired of practicing and practicing, what do you do? He's got the answer to that, and that is keep practicing. All right, so that's a quote from Mike Bregandello. Now, number two is going to be Willie Weeks. I also... We'll leave a video in this card here that I broke down the bass line to um, a song he did with Leanne Rhymes also, so check that out. Number three, we've got Jimmy Sloas, but he's also a singer in a lot of bands, so his bass lines are a lot more melodic, and you know, you'll know you notice that in some of his stuff, so check him out as well. That's Jimmy Lee Sloas. All right, so number four is Craig Young. Check him out, a big Nashville bassist that gets a lot of work and has done a lot of recordings with a lot of professional artists. So that's number four, and that is Craig Young. Number five is Lee Hendricks. As, a, as I say, all of these bassists, I can't, I just keep repeating myself. They're great bassists, and just by working in Nashville, making a career of this, it says something in itself, okay? So number five is Lee Hendricks. Number six, check this guy out, Mark Hill, great bass player. Number seven is Tully Kennedy, another good name, big name in the music business, um, family and all. And number eight is Tony Lucido. Chances are you've heard one of his bass lines in the past and, don't, and not even aware of it. Number nine, we've got a very popular one that's done a lot of recordings, not just in country, but he's also owned the pop genre as well. And he's got a lot of work done, and that's Lee Sklar. And just try to emulate his style of playing to just help develop yours and help build your style of playing as well. Now the one you've been waiting for, I've done a video on this one here, check that out. This guy has probably the most record, is probably the most recorded bassist in the, in Nashville that's just worked his butt off and really been, you know, just solid. So that is Michael Rhodes and just check him out. His story's pretty good and, um, you know, not that it's unique, uh, thousands of people, but you just, he just stuck to it. He just stuck to it and stayed with it and, you know, and brought it. So that's Michael Rhodes. He's, in my opinion, the top session bassist in Nashville because he's just done so many recordings. And like I said, most of these guys, you've listened to country music and you don't even know that that's actually them playing the bass line to that. But most likely it is them. They don't necessarily go on the road with all these guys. So a lot of times you see these bassists live with these bands and you think that's the bassist. But half the time, the recordings were done with other bassists. You know, these guys are just working making it happen so that is my top 10 list and like i said i've got a video coming out on the top 10 country bass lines that you want to check out as well so hold tight for that and if you had if you got some value out of this help me help you hit that like button and i'll catch y'all on the flip-flop in the next video so bye for now mm -hmm.